my family. Now, King Charles and Camilla attended an Easter Sunday church service at St. George's Chapel. And William did not attend. And for a long time right now, even William and Kate have not been seen anywhere alongside Charles and Camilla. Some would say it's because of their health issues and that's why they haven't been out and about together. Even right now, as an excuse of why William was not here at this Easter Sunday church service, they're saying William and Kate did not attend because Catherine continues her alleged cancer treatment. My family, that is what is being said right now. However, right now we are seeing headlines from different corners of the world saying that clearly all ain't well between Charles and Prince William. All is not well between Charles and Prince William. There seems to be some kind of war and briefing going on whereby we're having Buckingham Palace versus Kensington Palace, whereby they're briefing against each other. And uh, my family, I'll read you a headline that my family I just saw. For example, the star at tabloid did this. Charles tells William, you won't be king. And they're saying or claiming, my family, we can't confirm this. The Charles has just two years to live. We can't confirm this. Because you don't know, you know, my family, Charles Medical, condition in full. We don't know the prognosis, what it's like. We have no idea. And also, the headline read this. Prince William's double life of rage issues and boozing exposed. As monarch declares his son is unfit to rule. And also, it was said even a few weeks ago, that King Charles had not asked Prince William to step in and carry out royal duties on his behalf. Now, my family, I don't know about you, but that to me shows that these two, first of all, have some kind of war going on between, you know, against each other, my family. Where clearly they are not getting along. They are not getting along. Because William, even, I can confirm, has not been seen alongside Charles for a very, very long time. And why? Why is that? Why is that? Why has William not been seen alongside Charles for a very, very long time? Because it appears to me that something serious is really going on behind the scenes, my family. Even someone, in response to the headlines that my family I just shared with all of you, said this, I really think that William had done something so awful that he can't make good again. And they're doing everything behind the scenes to save him. And Charles is pissed. You know? And the monarchy also, they're doing everything to cover and protect Prince William from what William has clearly done. He's done something. You know? And right now, we are seeing headlines like, if William commits a crime, what is going to happen to him? Why are those coming up right now? Because my family... Members of the rota, they know that something serious happened. But once again, they are being used by the farm to cover for Prince William. To protect the heir to the throne. You know, because William must have done something very, very terrible. You know, let me read 
this article even more to find out more details about you know what is being said right now about what may be going on behind the scenes my family because all clearly is not well everything is not well between charles himself and prince william and my family before i even read you you know more on what my family is being said about what my family has going is going on right now let me just say this william in my opinion is somehow Charles' favorite son. If you ask them to pick between Harry and William, I believe that Charles would pick Prince William. To me, I feel like he is his favorite, you know, son. So right now, when you're seeing that Charles himself is not doing anything with William right now, well, by even William was never ever spotted going to see his father at the clinic in London where we were told that Charles was undergoing treatment for an enlarged prostate a while back. That tells you there is something going on. There is something going on, my family. There is something going on. And I've said this for a very, very long time. You know, I've said this for a very long time. Remember what's been going on here. First, the palace says that Kate is undergoing, you know, a planned abdominal surgery. That's what the palace says. And then hours later, you hear Charles also is set to be undergoing treatment for an inert prostate. And then on the same day, you are told that Kimilton has left the clinic in London where we were told she was in and has been taken home. And nobody was able to get a picture of her leaving the clinic. And then right after that, my friend, right after that, Charles also leaves the clinic on the same day that Kate was said to my family, you know, have left the clinic, my family. It is not a coincidence. It is not a coincidence. You know? It is not a coincidence. Because something really is going on, my family. You know? Something really is going on. Now, my family, let me read you this piece on why Charles believed that William is not uh, fit to be king. What's going on? What is happening, my family? What is being said right now about this? My family, here is what is being said. After announcing that King Charles was battling cancer, the palace insisted that he remains wholly positive about his treatment. But it is said that it is far worse than anyone knows and that Charles allegedly has pancreatic cancer and has a maximum of two years to live and my family once again we cannot confirm this if this is true or false because we haven't seen child's medical records my family also it is said while reeling from the tragic news just over a year into the rain child's and Camilla are also worried about Prince William, who is next in line to the throne because he's currently facing a public relations disaster. William is facing a public relations disaster. You know, I remember the words of an ex former BBC royal correspondent called Peter Hunt, who said that Prince William told him he never ever likes losing control over you know over things over matters and the fact is in this entire Kimilton ordeal her disappearance William lost control William lost control and he hated 
losing control. However, in a way, the palace and their PR people were able to somehow, you know, take back control of the situation of the family by listing that video, claiming that of Kim Hilton, claiming that she allegedly had cancer. And one thing that I always want to note is that Kate used past tense. My family. She said she allegedly she had cancer. She had cancer. And that she was undergoing preventative chemotherapy. My family. That's what Kate said was happening. And as I said at the time, for those who did not watch, you know, the video, you know, I read the term of what preventive chemotherapy means. And my family, allow me to read you the Google definition of what preventative chemotherapy, you know, means. My family, based on what is being said by my family on Google. Now, preventive chemotherapy is also known as adjuvant chemotherapy. That's the term that's normally used. It is a cause of anti-cancer drugs that is given to mop up any cancer cells that might remain in the body after primary cancer treatment, which is usually surgical removal of a tumor. My family. And Kate said she had cancer. My family, that's what she said in a video released by Kingston Palace, which people are saying also, it may be a fake. You know? People are saying that. And my family, let me just assume it's true. That is the, it's a real video. Let me just assume that. The words used by Kim Wilton was that she had, past tense, past tense. You know, she had cancer. And clearly my family, when someone says it is in the past tense really, it means that right now she doesn't have cancer. Based on Kate's own words. You know, I am using Kate's own words to form an opinion. You know, I am using Kate's own words to form an opinion. Based on our words, not my words, her own words. You know, and basically based on the words used to describe what's going on with Kim Wilton, the words that were being used were mostly in the past tense. And terms like preventive chemotherapy, meaning you've removed, let's say, a tumor. My family, you know, and basically also, meaning also that, you know, it is anti-cancer drugs that you'll be given to remove any cancer cells that might remain in the body after primary cancer treatment. Meaning that my family, that tumor, whatever it was, was caught early and was removed. And they are trying to prevent it from coming back. Because if it comes back, then it becomes cancer. So my family, based on Kate's words, I found an opinion. Myself, I know that people weren't you know, happy when I said this. But Kate does not have cancer. Based on her words. Based on what she said. Not my words. Based on her words. My family. Right now, she doesn't have cancer. Based on Kate's own words. She's preventing it. From coming back she had it but she is preventing it from coming back by doing preventive chemotherapy by undergoing preventive chemotherapy that is what kate said and i understand that whenever people hear the word preventive chemotherapy whenever they hear the word even chemotherapy immediately think cancer but based on kate's own words and based on the definition of what preventive chemotherapy is, clearly it shows that Kate currently does not have cancer. She is trying to prevent cancer from coming back because she had it in the past tense, had it, and now she's preventing it from coming back. Basically, that is my interpretation of Kate's own words, you know, of what she said. That way, you're able to understand my family, me. And my family right now, 
we are seeing that King Charles doesn't trust Prince William to take on the mantle of being my family a leader. Even doing engagements on behalf of Charles. It appears that Charles doesn't trust, you know, Prince William because there's something wrong that he did. And the palace, Wikimedia, media are trying to cover for him. Something is going on. And don't forget, while Kate was giving an address, announcing that she allegedly had cancer, William wasn't there to be by his wife's side, supporting his wife. He wasn't there. And my family, basically, it is said right now that, you know, Charles knows the pressure of being the monarch. And he just isn't sure William is ready to take his place. It seems premature and there could be consequences. What are they talking about when they say consequences? What are they talking about when they say consequences? That there could be consequences. What did William do for there to be consequences against him? What did William do? My family, let's hear more kindly. Let's hear more on this story. My family, it is said, amid Kate's so-called health crisis, she announced on March 22 that she had been diagnosed with cancer. Had been. I like that. They said in the past tense, which is what Kate said. Around that time, all rumors of an affair between William and Rose Hanbury resurfaced. Charles is worried that his eldest son will repeat the same mistake he made himself when he cheated on the prince's mother, Princess Diana. It's a very awkward situation. <laughs> no, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. The thing is, Charles never ever regretted ever cheating on Diana. He never did. Let's be honest here. Charles never ever regretted cheating on Diana. Number one, Charles never ever loved Diana. Never. He never loved her. And he always, you know, did everything in his power to undermine Diana's confidence. You could see Diana even crying, you know, at different engagements with Charles. While Charles was laughing hysterically. Not caring about Diana's feelings, emotions, how she feels. So Charles never cared about Diana. So even if William allegedly has an affair, Charles would be proud because William ended up like him. That's my opinion. That is my opinion. However, of course, the palace, I know the palace, they don't want it to be known that William, the son of the late Diana, Cheated on his wife with another woman. The palace don't want the public to know that. They don't want that. And that's why the tablets will cover up for Prince William, protect him, while throwing Harry Meghan under the bus. While leaking negative stories about Harry Meghan to the media to try and somehow take the heat off of Prince William. Which is what continues to happen again and again and again and again every single day for years now. As the palace keeps on trying to protect Prince William from the messes and problems that William creates himself from his own actions. You know? But clearly, I can say this with full honesty. William and Kimilton do not love each other. They don't. They don't. They don't. And it is becoming difficult for the tablets and even the farm to cover up for them. They don't love each other. That is a fact. Those two loathe each other. You know? That's why William threw Kay Moulton under the bus. Saying that she was the one who created that fake photograph of her and the kids. Posted on Mother's Day that we were told William took. William absolved himself of any blame and threw Kate under the bus. And yet the Santa Blade, you know, somehow attacked me 
attacked my Instagram account by simply telling the facts of what happened. William did throw his wife under the bus. I blame Kim for the fake photo. It's a fact. That's what he did. You know? And the fact is, my family, we are being told that he knew about Kim Wilson's, you know, cancer. So if he knew, and then still threw it on the bus, it makes him an even worse person. My family, to throw your sick wife under the bus to protect yourself, it makes William even appear more or less, you know, actually more so a bad, bad person. And as I've always said about Prince William, from his actions towards Harry Meghan, from the hell, for the hell he put Harry Meghan through, he's become worse than even his own father, Charles. You know? William has become worse than him, than even his father, Charles. So to me, I don't believe for a second that Charles will be like, oh, this is awkward. I do want my son to make the same mistakes as me, in a way by I cheated on, you know, Diana. Charles would be proud if William did that. You know? However, the palace won't want the public to know that. And they'll move heaven and earth to protect and cover for Prince William. My family. But over the past few months, it's becoming, it has become very difficult for the palace to cover up for Prince William. You know? It's become very, very difficult. In my family, it is also said that William has also reportedly turned to alcohol to deal with the stress. With as many as four drinks a night. My family, remember also, there are articles and headlines that have come out about Prince William and family, you know, how he loves to drink so much. And also, at... A state event a while back, William was putted, you know, moving from back and forth. He couldn't stand still. And his eyes, my family, appeared to be somehow gloomy. He was blinking, you know, constantly struggling to stay awake with family. Moving forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. The guy appeared to be really drunk and struggling to. My family, you know, even stand still. He was struggling to perform his own duties. That is required of him. He was struggling, really struggling. Look at him. Forward, backwards. Forward, backwards. Struggling to stand. My family he was struggling to stand. And it showed really that the guy, my family, you know, he drinks a lot. He drinks so much. He drinks so much. And even... During state events, as you've seen, the guy has been nursing clearly a hangover. You know, the guy is nursing a hangover at a state event. At a state event. So, all ain't well with Prince William. And Charles knows it. Even the community, they know it. And even Piers Morgan himself knows it. And that's why Piers Morgan wrote an article a few, you know, weeks ago. Saying how when William was young, you know, William asked for a glass of wine, a drink, at such a young age. You know, saying that he took it all the time. You know, why would William, why would Piers Morgan think about a moment that happened years ago and then talk about it right now? Because they're all, they all know what's going on. They all know what's happening. But they're covering up for him. Because the heir is protected. The spare Harry is the one who is fed to the wolves to cover Prince William. And that's why even UK media right now, they act as if without Harry, you know, William can't do anything ever, ever. That's why so many headlines coming out of how William needs Harry. He needs his wingman. What they mean when they say that is that William needs his scapegoat back. William needs his distraction. The person who was used as a distraction to cover and protect Prince William whenever William messed up. Harry. That's what the palace and the media are determined to somehow get back. The scapegoat. My family, they will never ever get Harry back. To use him as Prince William's scapegoat again. 
my family. I hope that that never ever happens to Harry ever again. I hope Harry is never ever William Scapegoat ever ever again. My family. My family, a report just a while back, claimed that William would have beers after work and glasses of wine with dinner, leading him to wake up crabby, which his father, Charles, was not pleased about. And that Charles has cancelled him that there can be no more carefree outings to the pub anymore, says a source. My family. And that William's temper is also a cause for concern in the king's eyes. You know? And they're quoting Harry's memoir spear about William's temper. Whereby Prince Harry spoke about a fight between whereby William was physically attacking Prince Harry, assaulting Prince Harry, his own brother. Harry said, and I quote, William grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace, and he knocked me to the floor. I landed on the dog's ball, which cracked under my back, the pieces cutting into me. My family, you know, they're quoting Harry's memoir speech to speak about William's temper. Don't forget, whenever you can describe Prince William, they always talk about him, you know, being in candice and rage because they know of his temper. They know he's someone who has a huge temper. They know it. Harry just confirmed it in spare. That William does have a temper that he can't control. So what did he do to Kim Wilton? Now my family has made Kim Wilton, you know, basically disappear for months. What, what did he do? My family, because something else is going on. Something even more than this, you know, alleged cancer that we've been told about. Something more is going on, my family, behind the scenes. Something more is going on. You know? And my family, right now, it appears indeed that King Charles and Prince William, you know, are really, really don't have a good, positive relationship. It's like all these people, Charles, Camilla, Kate, William, all united in their attempts to destroy Harry Meghan. And now that Harry Meghan aren't there anymore, are living in Montezuma Modest family in California, right now, they have nothing to bond over. They have nothing to unite over family. Because when Harry Meghan were back in the UK, Charles, William, K. Camilla were united in their attempts to destroy Harry Meghan's marriage. Because they were full of envy towards Harry Meghan's star power. And now that Harry Meghan have fled the UK, there is nothing for them to bond over. And now even William can't even go and see his father, Charles, when Charles... My family is undergoing treatment for a so-called enlarged prostate. He can't even see his father. He hasn't, he hasn't been spotted. He was never spotted going to see Charles. And even my family, no one has even seen Charles and William at the same event in a very, very long time. I don't even remember whereby, you know, a moment whereby Charles and uh, William have met up and publicly, that is, have been seen publicly together. There isn't a moment my family anyone has seen that and what does that tell you there is war there is a war going on between Buckingham Palace and the Prince William's office my family you know that's what is going on you know and there's nothing to bond over anymore between Charles William Kate and Camilla after Harry Meghan fled the UK and that's why UK media want Harry back they want Harry back so the firm can unite over trying to fully destroy the spare again Harry, don't give Charles or William or Kate or Camilla the pleasure of destroying your life because that's what they want to do. Don't give them the pleasure. Don't offer yourself up to them for them to destroy you because if there's one thing that's clear here is that the farm has failed in their mission to destroy Harry Meghan's lives, but they're trying to do it. Harry, don't give them the pleasure of destroying you and Meghan. Please don't. Please don't give them the pleasure. Do not. You know? And my family, it is said that King Charles does not trust Prince William to rule. Oh, my family. There is a war going on between Charles and William, and that's a fact. My family, it is said 
that people had hoped to see William take the helm of the kingdom in his father's absence. But much remains to be said as he appears to have relegated royal duties to, uh, to my family, you know, attend to his wife King Milton. That's also a lie. That's also a big lie. Why? Because my family, William, himself, when Kate was saying that she allegedly had cancer, William wasn't there to be by Kate's side, to support his wife. You know, and that tells you a lot. That speaks so much volumes, my family. That speaks so much volumes. You know? And basically, it is said by an insider that the king doesn't trust his son William to rule yet. <laughs> it's really funny what's going on right now, really, between this war between Charles and William. Clearly, when Harry and Meghan were in the UK, Charles, William, Camilla, and Kate boarded over trying to ruin and destroy the lives of Harry and Meghan. More so, Meghan, actually, because Meghan was the target. And now that Harry and Meghan are living in the US, far away from the UK, there's nothing for the farm to bond over anymore. There's nothing for them to bond over anymore. So Prince Harry, kindly don't feed yourself to them. Don't allow them to somehow use you or finish the job that the farm started. And that is trying to destroy both you and Megan. Harry, don't give them the pleasure. Don't allow them to destroy you. Don't allow them to use you to use you as a scapegoat for William again. Don't ever allow them to use you as a distraction to cover for Prince William's messes. Don't ever allow that, Harry. And don't allow that, Megan. Don't ever, ever, you know, allow that. My family, something really serious is going on behind the scenes. But clearly it shows that uh, Charles and William are not close. They are not close, my family. And that's a fact. And that's a fact. So my family, what are these consequences that uh, Charles is saying could happen to Prince William? What are these consequences? What did William do? My family, I want to hear your opinion on that, please. I want to hear my family's opinion on that. My family, even someone that, you know, LOL, with their favorite punching bags far away in Southern California, it was only a matter of time before William turned on his father. No sympathy from me. I'll be over here eating popcorn and watching, you know, what is unfolding right now. And William and Charles... I've always seen in a way that these two don't, don't even like each other. They don't, they don't really get along. They got along only when they were trying to destroy Harry and Meghan. But now that Harry and Meghan aren't there anymore, there's nothing to bond over. And that's why, that's why UK media are desperate to have Harry back. To somehow, you know, get Charles and William to unite over once again finishing the job they started. In their attempts to destroy Prince Harry completely. Harry, don't allow them to destroy you. Don't allow them to ever use you as a scapegoat ever again. Don't allow it. Protect yourself and protect Megan Archie Lilibet, as you've always done. And never ever tolerate any kind of disrespect towards you, Megan, Archie, and Lilibet. My family, you tell me kindly your thoughts about what we have discussed. What's your, your opinion, family? God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Libertana and Doria Ugland. And all of you members of the squad at home. He never wins. Love wins and stay tuned to our next video. And may no one form against Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Libertana ever prosper. Harry and Megan are peacefully living their lives and minding their own business. While things are going for bad to worse back, my family in the UK, for... Charles and William and Kate and Camilla. Things are really not good for them. You know, maybe you can say for Camilla, things are actually good. But for the others, things are really, really bad, my family. You know, I'm going to need for Prince Harry to keep enjoying the time in the US. Have fun. Love each other. Have a good time. Enjoy yourselves. You know, and live your best lives ever. Never, ever tolerate disrespect.
Harry, never ever, you know, allow yourself to be used as a scapegoat or a distraction to cover for Prince William, Charles, or Kate, or Camilla. Don't ever allow that to ever happen to you again. My family, stay tuned to our next video, kindly. Love you also forever and may God bless each and every single one of you. It never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.